there's a midrash in this week's parsha regarding the completion of the Mishkan. The midrash tells us, "Omrev Shmuel Bar Nachman, b'shosh shebora Kodesh Baruch Hu Olam Nisavo Shiye Lo Dira B'Tachtonim." From the time God created existence, He wanted to have a resonance on the terrestrial level. No less than he has in the, on the celestial level. <coughs> he created man and he commanded him. You're permitted to eat from any tree of the garden. But from the tree of knowledge, which is good and evil, you should not eat. And he violated his dictate. Initially, I desired to have a resonance on the terrestrial level, no less than I have in the heavenly level. I command you one thing, and you did not listen. Immediately, God ascended to the first heaven. Omat Kain Vhorag Lakevil, Lehevil, Kain went and he murdered Hevel his brother. Miatsilik Shrinosal Urkiasheni, God ascended to the second heaven. Omar Akurish Borhu Shiva Rakim Barosi. I've created seven heavens. That Akshov Yeshli Rushom Lamed Bo. The Hemid Lavrom. So he brought Avrom into existence. Kavich Hemid Avrom, Siegel Masim Tovim, he brought about good deeds. God descended from the seventh heaven to the sixth heaven. Omad Yitzchok poshet tzavarol gabizbeach. Yitzchok was the unblemished offering. He extended his neck to be slaughtered. Yorad mishishi lechamishi. He descended from the sixth heaven to the fifth. Omad Moshe veridol or it's Moshe Rabbeinu through his dimension of spirituality. He was able to bring it to the terrestrial of Shnemar. The Yehud Hashem al Har Sinai. God descended on Tar Sinai. Uksiv bosi lagani achosi chalo. Verse in Shir Hashirim. I've entered the garden. My sister, the Kalo, the bride. A Mosai. When was that? Kishuka ma Mishkan. When Mishkan was erected. This is when it happened. But it's interesting. Seemingly, the Shechina descended because it was time to give the Torah. Omad Moshe very Lord's. It seems to me Moshe was the one who had brought it to earth, brought it to earth, to the terrestrial level. Factually, we find, as I'll tell us, the only person who was able to be the goel, who was qualified to be the redeemer, was only Moshe Rabbeinu. No one else was qualified to be the redeemer. The only person who was qualified to receive the Torah, to be the conduit, to bring the Torah, was only Moshe Rabbeinu. Factually, the objective of existence, Bereshis Bar Lokim, Bishvil Torah Nikras Reishis, so the objective of creation is Torah. So if Moshe wouldn't have been there, there was no one who was sufficiently qualified to bring the Torah to existence. The basis for the Shekhinah, for the divine presence to be on the terrestrial level, is only because there's a Torah, because there's a Klal Yisrael. A Jewish people without Torah is not a Klal Yisrael. We only became the Mamleches Kohanim Goy Kodosh, the princely, kingly nation, the holy people only as a result of the Torah. So it's Omad Moshe Vorid Loritz. It was due to Moshe, his qualification to be the Makabal Torah, to receive the Torah. He's the one who brought the divine presence back to its original location, which was the original intent of creation. That Hashem said, I want my Dirosa should be a Tachtonim, not be Elyonim, not to be with the angels. It should be with mankind, as originally was the intent in terms of what happened in the Gan Eden. So Moshe Rabbeinu, he was able to reinstate because of his own qualification to bring the world to address its potential through receiving a Torah at Sinai. Now just to understand why does Hashem want to be betachtonim, not belyonim? The Gemara tells us in Chelek and Sanhedrin, gedolim tzadikim yosim malchi ashoris. Tzadikim are greater than the greatest ministering angels. The greatest angels, we have Chayos, Ofani Kodesh. these angels are, we, we can't even fathom what they are. But he says, whatever they are, if Chaim Vodoshan says, it's only because God created them, to be, created them to be that. It had nothing to do with their initiative. A tzaddik, no one's born a tzaddik. A tzaddik only becomes a tzaddik 
devoutly righteous because he made many choices. He suppressed his evil inclination to become the tzaddik. Therefore, Gedolim Tzadikim. So who does want God want to be with? God created man, B'Tselem Elokim, B'Dmuso, in his image and his form. What is that? The ability to make choices. He was endowed with intelligence and the ability not to be dictated by instinct like any other living creature, but rather by what? By choice. And because the tzaddik made those choices, which the majority were positive, therefore he's classified as a tzaddik. Therefore, where is God's interest to be? On the terrestrial level and not Belyonium on the celestial level.